Six of the 12, all five starters in double figures. And the Patriots have played a very intelligent game tonight. And Wallace is fouled, and Wallace did, oh, Wallace, right at our chest. This has potential to be serious if they don't get between. Wallace upset. Players trying to hold each other off. Steven Jackson will receive Wallace trying to be peacemakers, now Jackson yelling. Wallace still going. You need the coaches in there to get him away. Jackson Steven, challenging Derek Coleman. Somebody should just get Jackson out of quickly as possible. The problem is, if Wallace is ejected, I'm not sure, he'd have to walk past the pace of bench to go. Now Artest has jumped over the scorer's table and is trying to get down to the bench. Artest is in the stands. Oh, this is awful. Fans are getting involved. Steven Jackson's in the fans. Rasheed Wallace going into the stands. The security trying to somehow restore order. Fans and players are going at it, and the players trying to help each other out. This is a disgrace. All the players now, they're jumping in there to try and get the other players out because the fans have come involved. Oh, what a sad scene here at the Palace. And now another fight's breaking out in front of the Pistons bench. It's a, it's a fan on the court. This is very, very dangerous. Fans are throwing cups with liquid in them now onto the court. Ron Artest has a look in his eye that's very scary right now. You wonder if the official's going to let this game continue. Now they're throwing bottles out onto the floor. They're trying to get the Pacers to go back to the locker room. What was maybe you could call it a hard foul at best has turned into a just a, an ugly, ugly scene. Chuck Person. The officials they're going to call this game off and that should be the, the outcome is definitely decided you have these ridiculous fans trying to go at the players and now throwing somebody could really get hurt it's a bad showing from the Pistons fans here just firing bottles from the stands the Pacers have all gone back in toward the locker room and they're getting Throw a lot of debris, and they're still not all the way through. And for some reason, one of the they hold Austin Crozier out. They won't want to get him under the tunnel because they're afraid for his safety. They're pouring liquid over. What a disgraceful showing from the Pistons fans here. That's one of the worst scenes I've ever seen. It's an NBA NBA. old moment in NBA history. The players just have to get out of there. Get back to the locker room and forget about it. The game has been called. The official announcement has been made. The game has been called, which was the right call. The outcome, obviously, is over. And players and fans in danger with the emotions and the tempers being completely lost. It all started with a foul. Ron Artest with a foul that Ben Wallace deemed was too hard. As you see the Pacers going underneath the tunnel trying to cover their heads. You can see the debris, some of it being aimed at him, and a lot of it you can't see that's just missing wildly. The security did their best, but it had escalated to a point where there were players and fans fighting in the stands before there was enough security around. Let's go to Jim Gray. Mike and Bill, I was sitting right next to Ron Artest when he was laying down before he went into the stands. A fan came and threw a beer and a bottle on him from point blank range. When he got hit by that, he erupted. He knew exactly who it was and he jumped right out after him. The fan got in very close proximity, and that's what triggered Ron Artest, who had been lying down, even after Ben Wallace had thrown a towel at him. That's what triggered this, Mike. I was standing 
within a couple of feet of him. Uh, that's what triggered the big roll in the stands. You saw what just triggered the entire incident. Artest with a foul that he should have let go. He fouled Wallace from behind, but Wallace overreacted to that foul. Certainly no winners in this circumstance at all. It became such a dangerous situation. Then you see Steven Jackson in there taking shot at the stands. And granted, it's very difficult when you're a player and the fans come at you, either physically or verbally, but you have to restrain yourself. You just can't respond to it. There are so many bottles and cups thrown. There's our test after what Jim Gray reported. And you saw there was no security around at the time, and it was too late. Many of the players going in there to get our test out of there. And it had seemed the whole thing had calmed down when that fan came and Ron Artest. And another incident for Ron Artest, so unfortunate. And again, the, the fan, hopefully security is able to get the fan and he'll receive proper punishment. But the overreaction. All teams have been secured. 